more fun effects we're going to do. So, let's get our nature enthusiast going here. All right. Bring up our tool panel, F4. All right. What should we do first? Let's... Okay, well first let's do the picture. I think there was a couple more on the picture. Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> um, blind. Now what do you think that is? I know what it is. So what do you think it is? Well, think about window blinds. Hmm. All right. Let's click on it. We've already got the picture selected. We're going to select the target as picture. And, well, I think I'll just leave the, leave the uh, type of effect as a mystery until you see it. So, I'm going to click OK. And it's on click. And there it is, blind. All right. We're going to do Control S. <coughs> And then we're going to do F12. And you can prevent this from coming up by changing the security systems, uh, security settings in your browser. But I'm just going to continue to allow blocked content as we go. All right. Oh, yeah. We're dealing with the picture. So what happens when we click on the picture? Watch. Interesting, huh? <clears throat> just like blinds are going up. And remember, we chose that as an option when we were in here. If we double-click on blind, all those options come again. Um, we can do blind down. Um, and notice the difference. Control S. See, there we go. So you caused it to shift down or blind down. All right. And you could just have it go barely down, you know, because basically it says pulling the blind down from where, from zero to 100 percent. But you could do just 10 percent if you want it. I'll show you what that does. Control S and then F12 to preview. So maybe you had something revealing in the back here. And when you hit it, it revealed it. So that's perhaps what you could use that effect for. Countless little things you could do. All right, let's see if there's any others. We're going to delete it by hitting the minus sign, remove event. And we've done shake. Let's do highlight. But we're not going to do the picture. We're going to do the copyright, the footer down here. So I'm going to select that. And we have highlight. So let's... Did I accidentally do that to the picture, too? No. All right. So... Oh, that's because I already did it for copyright. So let me show you. Let's delete it. And now I'll add it back here. All right. Behavior effects. Highlight. And current selection, right? Or we could choose footer, whatever we want. And then... Starting from its original color, which is white, it's going to fade into a red. And then after that effect, it'll go back to white. Watch. This is on click. Control S. F12.
Now watch. All right. Now, what's really cool is if you change it, okay, instead of going so quickly, we change this to a 5,000 milliseconds, which is how long it'll take the whole process to do, and then color after the effect will leave it the color. All right. Control S, then F12. Now watch. Kind of cool, huh? And then it just stays red. Now we can also experiment with the toggle. So let's say we did it really quickly, like uh, instead of a thousand, we'll do 500 milliseconds. And Actually, you could do blinking if we did it like as low as 50 milliseconds. And let's try toggle effect. Let's see what that does. Control S and then F12 again. See, every time I click, <clears throat> it's going to change. So bam, 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 bam. That's what toggle effect means. And it's, it's going red or fading, highlighting into red so quickly, um, 50 milliseconds, that it looks like it just comes on and doesn't even fade. So you can use it just to change color on something <clears throat> when someone clicks or hovers over something. So there's a couple more effects, but there's more to come.